Yep, it's a pretty fucked up looking dog. Oh, I'm so cute. Like an absolute fucking buffoon, I've been filming all of my cat videos vertically. I guess owning a cat's rotted my brain to the level of a shitty TikToker. I know better, I know I should have filmed these like horizontal, but it, I just blacked out from cuteness. So I apologize for that. This is Ayo and playing with our drapes. She really loves these drapes. She treats it like she's Agent 47 here on a like a stealth kill. She plays it like it's a goddamn stealth mission in Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. It's absolutely amazing. It's so fucking cute. She also really likes to cuddle, so oftentimes she'll just like sleep on either mine or Tiana's shoulder and like nestle up in our neck. It's it's wild. I got the little sleepy guy here. So unfortunately the cat was born with something that needed a surgical correction recently, so they've been through a lot. But they're doing better now. All shaved and everything. She's Aww. like, She's like what's going on? So the cat was born with what? Altresia, Altresia ani? Altresia ani. And that means that its colon didn't connect to its anus, right? One of the other kittens from that box was taken in by one of Tiana's co-workers, and this is them playing together a little bit. Io has a pretty in-depth understanding of martial arts, so this is her in the ground and pound, so right now she's working the defensive here, and she's putting up a good guard, but one thing Io really likes to do is slap, so that's her kind of go-to signature move. She does a lot of slapping. What do you got there, Io? You favorite toy? In the first clip I showed her on the drapes, you may have noticed the toy she was playing with. Well, it's her favorite toy. She absolutely loves that thing. Six shooter. Oh, stop. She wants to play. Into a massive YouTuber named Point Crow. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Eh, Nintendo even sent an assassin after me with Io here with that jump scare. Jesus. <laughs> that was terrifying. 4,368 hours it took. Can you believe that shit, Io? Can you believe that? Is that fucking nuts? You haven't even been alive for 4,368 hours yet. That's like four times your lifespan at the moment. I'll be right back. All right, Io, let's go. Let's go. Call the one. Come on, Io. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Finally. No. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Don't, oh boy, don't do that. Uh, 
I know. I know. I know. As you sat on the chair and waited, you're so sleepy. But now I have to sit down, so you gotta move. Yep. He sat on it, he crushed through it. No. I'm sitting on like the very edge of the chair. I don't want to move her, I feel bad. Oh! Damn, this game's so scary, just scared the shit out of my cat. I'm not the most athletic man in the world, but you know what I am? A Walmart shopper. So that's kind of the gist on that situation, and I'm gonna just go ahead and move on to the next one, but again, if you want more information on it, I do think Mudahar from Some Ordinary Gamers does a great breakdown. But moving on to the next one, this one isn't nearly as serious. The new Mario trailer dropped. Caught. Rimi's Ratatouille has become less of a ride and more... Hello, Io. Yeah, he, she heard Ratatouille and, you know, sprung into action. She's a huge fan. Stand back. I'm entering Stinko mode. I was about to hop in the shower, but I started watching a couple of Twitch clips as the water was getting hot. And it just made me upset what was going on about a certain situation that I turned the water off and decided to march on over here like a toddler who just got told that he was put on Santa's naughty list so I could sit down and rant about something. And today, both of these streamers went live to collect money for a fund to help out as much as possible. Imagine hating an internet streamer so much that you will pay money, your own hard-earned doubloons, your own hard-earned clams, to donate it to a different streamer just so you can keep shitting on the one that you don't like, and then cook up your own little tinfoil butt plug conspiracy theory on why what they're doing is actually super shady and the money's not going to the charity, it's going to luxury items. That is a wild concept to me. And then also donating to call the whole thing a scam. Another very wild thing to me. Because from what I can tell, this doesn't appear to be an illegitimate organization or an illegitimate fund. It seems like this is money that's going to be extremely useful to the actual people in need to help out victims and help out. But, you know, for some reason, this is being spun by not a large group of people. I want to make this clear. It's not a ton of people. It is a pretty small vocal group of people that are trying to find any way of spinning this as an overall negative thing that both these both of these streamers are doing because they don't like the streamers. Now, I'm not here to be the PR manager or tell you that you need to suck their dicks for this and fondle their balls for such a great selfless deed. I'm not trying to be that soldier in the meme who's like taking bullets while a baby is sleeping soundly right in front of me. Like, it's totally fine if you don't like either of these streamers. That is completely fine. In fact, Io still hasn't even gotten over iShow Speed's last crypto scam with Paradox Metaverse. She's still very upset about that. She had to jump down. She was so sick from it. By now, I'm sure many of you know that I'm a huge DJ Khaled fan. So is Io. She must have just sensed I was about to talk about DJ Khaled. Actual scholar when it comes to DJ Khaled lore. I've seen all of it. I feel like I'm part of his family. From watching him absolutely ruin Bob Marley's guitar as he badly played it and slapped it around like he was trying to beat the devil out of it, to the time where he took the pressure washer from his gardeners to pretend to pressure wash his pool deck while saying, God did. Like, everything he's done, I love. The time he got stranded on his jet ski, the time that he crashed his jet ski into a, a fucking tree branch, at like less than two miles per hour, the slowest speed collision that's ever been recorded in the history of our human species. It's just, everything about him is just perfect. He's like a real life cartoon character. Everything he does, I could absolutely see Ed and Eddie sound effects behind it. It's just amazing. So I love DJ Khaled. This is all to say I'm a huge fan and I recently learned about a competition that he was holding to stay in his shoe closet for two nights for $11. It was a great deal. $11 and you get to live in DJ Khaled's shoe closet for two days? Sign me the fuck up. That's like visiting heaven for a brief moment of time before being revived on earth. I know you're excited, but please have some restraint. I've got to, oh, whoa. I've got to practice to be the best. Why are you slapping? Whoa, you're gonna, whoa, you're going crazy. I was out here getting you with that true combo. Come on now. 